guys thank you for watching welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you how I did this beautiful mermaid design that I made for one of the challenges on Instagram and I'll ask your opinion at the end of this video which set of nails you like better so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial let's get started I started by applying my base coat to protect my natural nails I used the base coat by OPI Next, I'll use this gold polish by Wet n Wild called Ready to Propose as a base color. I'll apply two layers of this polish on all of my nails. To add a little sparkle, I use this fine glitter polish by Wet n Wild called Rebel Without a Claws. I applied it only on my pinky, index finger and thumb. And I let my nails dry completely before moving on to the next step. I cannot stress enough how important it is for your nails to be dry, otherwise the vinyls will chip the base color when you remove it. Next I use this Nail Vinyls by Thai Beauty to get the mermaid print. Using the scissors I cut one of these little vinyls. I peel off the hollow sticker from the foam and stick it on my nail. I use my finger to secure the sticker. I applied the vinyls on all of the nails with the glitter finish. You could cut the ends of these vinyls for a better and easier application. Next I used the liquid latex by Lula to apply it around my nails for an easier cleanup process. On the nails with stickers I'll make sure I'm applying the liquid latex on top of the vinyls getting in all the hollow spaces since I'll be applying the gradient on all of my nails. For the gradient I use three colors, Royal Blue by Revlon called Royal, the Blue slash Purple Polish by Revlon called I'm Electro and the Purple Polish by Oily called Opposites Attract. Also to apply the gradient I use this sponge stamper from Born Pretty Store which is very comfortable to use because of the little holder. Next I applied my ombre colors on the sponge. Starting with the Royal Blue, continuing with the Blue slash Purple Polish and finishing up with the Purple Color. After applying the Ombre Colors, immediately I start dabbing the sponge on my nail. For a better opacity, I will reapply the gradient on my nail till I am happy with the result. I apply the gradient on all of my nails. When done, I remove the hollow stickers and the liquid latex from around my nails. Then I cleaned up the rest of the mess with a cotton swab and a cleaning brush dipped in acetone. I will secure the gradient with the top hole. I will use the same one by OPI. I got this beautiful sparkly gradient. Now it's time to take care of the accent nails. For the ring fingernail, I will create a necklace using some gold nail beads and one of the gold stars from this little rainstone collection. While the top coat is still wet, I will use the picker pencil to place the beads on my nail. I will place them on the upper part of my nail going down in an angle. At the edge of the angle I applied the little star. And here is the beautiful gold necklace. For the middle fingernail I will create a mermaid decal. So on the silicone mat I will apply a layer of top coat and let it dry. Next I will apply some yellow and black acrylic paint on my plastic palette. I am using the acrylic colors by Art Advantage. To create the mermaid I will use a detailing brush. So I will dip the brush in the acrylic paint and I will start painting a yellow circle directly on the mat. This will be the moon. Then using the same yellow paint, I will draw the reflection of the moon in the water. Next, using the black acrylic paint, I will create the image of the mermaid sitting on a rock. Then I will add some black horizontal lines for her shadow in the water. I will secure the design with a top coat and let it dry. When the decal is dry, I will use the sharp side of the cuticle pusher tool to carefully peel off the decal from the mat. 
and here is how my mermaid decal looks like. Then I'll apply a layer of top coat on my middle finger nail and immediately I'll place the decal on my nail before the top coat dries. I will secure the decal on my nail using my finger and then dissolve the excess of top coat using a brush dipped in acetone. And finally I will use my top coat from OPI to secure the design. And here is the beautiful mermaid manicure. But after I was done with the design I was curious on how this design will look in silver. So I decided to try it on my other hand. But this time for the mermaid print I used the stamping plate number HEHE005 and the silver polish by Revlon called Metallic. To protect the skin around my nails I applied some liquid latex and then I proceeded with the stamping routine. I applied the silver polish on my image, I scraped off the excess polish with a scraper and I picked up the image with my clear stamper. And here is the image. Immediately I transferred the image on my nail. I did the same thing for my pinky, index finger and the thumb. For the ring fingernail I created a silver necklace. And here is what I got. The same gorgeous design but in silver and honestly I like the mermaid print better when I use the stamping technique. How about you? Which look do you like better? The one achieved by using the nail vinyls or the one achieved by using the stamping technique? The gold one or the silver one? Please leave your comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're gonna try this design at home. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more video tutorials. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week with a new design.